Hello, hello. And today we have another presentation. Uh, we have uh, uh, Kevin uh, Devin, one of uh, Gradle uh, engineers working on many topics. Uh, I met uh, Kevin uh, in Ticino when he had a presentation on PostgreSQL and new features there. It was in January, if I recall correctly. So, and after that, uh, yeah, so this is our second encounter. And you want to present uh, another topic today, right? Yeah, uh, a topic about the Gateway API, something yeah. related to Kubernetes. Yeah. And yeah, it's a new feature, part of the Kubernetes itself, just to improve the way to expose an application to the world, which is important when you deliver something in production. Yeah. So in my case, I spent so much time doing various Kubernetes stuff, etc. I know how complicated Kubernetes is. And developer productivity in Kubernetes, uh, well, it has two parts. Firstly, learning experience, because in Kubernetes you learn all the time. Yeah. Uh, and second part is actually applying to what you know. So about learning Kubernetes and Gateway API, uh, could you please share with us how to start? Yeah, uh, the Gateway API is something mm -hmm. new and it's here to replace in some ways things we have from the past, the ingress or the way to expose an application. And that one was really complicated. So they introduced something new, a new API. It's not something to replace completely. The old one will stay. But the idea is to provide something for multiple type of people, infrastructure, operators, and developers. And it's here mm -hmm. where the productivity uh, rises because it's something made for them to let them do things better. Yeah, so if you talk specifically about the API of gateways, uh, do we talk about CRD APIs or classic APIs? Yeah, it's a, definitely, mm -hmm. it's, uh, and the gateway API itself is just CRDs. You have dedicated objects for the mm -hmm. thing you want. Yeah, so it's APIs done Kubernetes way, which is not always uh, what we are used to in the Java space, yeah. but it's a nice thing. Uh, so, and yeah, when you do gateway, uh, so basically, what uh, would common developer benefit from that, for example? Uh, are there benefits for developer environments, for production, or where the main value lays uh, for us? Yeah. Oh. Technically, yes to all questions you, you, you asked. It's yeah. first, at the, for a developer, you are in charge of your application. You know how your application is working, so you're the best to define routes at every level for your application. So if you do an HTTP application, it's simple and you know what you have to do with it. Mm -hmm. And for example, if you are a gRPC developer and you use that uh, to connect things back-end, front-end, you can use the same protobuf file to generate everything for you, like you do for the client and the back-end. So definitely something better. And for, to, uh, for the second part of the question, it's something you can use differently in prod and in dev to adjust things and potentially test things in production with canary deployments, uh, traffic splitting, and things like that. So you want to test, test things before delivering it in production and crushing the world prod. Yeah, that's uh, really great. Does it already integrate with other tools like Istio or uh, Crossplane? Yeah, uh, Crossplane no, but mm -hmm. Istio yeah. In fact, um, many mm -hmm. things from the API uh, could be seen as an evolution of what Istio did with their dedicated CRDs. And Istio chose to use the uh, Gateway API as a way to configure Istio itself. So, mm -hmm. and an initiative, but it's not yet finished on that part, is to use that even for internal communication. Right now, it's not the, the, the goal, and the, the 1.0 is just about mm -hmm. ingress replacement. But yeah, definitely something we see and we smell the flavor of this still behind it at the API level. OK, that's uh, really cool. And thanks a lot for this introduction. Um, so uh, since you're in both Java spaces and Kubernetes spaces, how you do actually find operating in these two ecosystems? Uh, what are your learnings and what we could learn as, let's say, Java developers? Uh, as a Java developer, I've mm -hmm. seen changes in yeah. the ecosystem with every frameworks and Micronode, Spring, Quarkus, mm -hmm. everything has changed. And both Spring Boot, for example, and Kubernetes, they both have 10 years now. And yeah. it's for me, we have seen so much changes to adjust to the platform to be able to deploy correctly in Kubernetes without fighting the platform, but just embracing it. And for me, it's really a good thing. Yeah, definitely. It's also my experience because when we talk about uh, modern Java, cloud native Java, like whether it's framework like Quarkus, whether it's 
um, Micronaut or just a developer tooling like Wiremock or Microx, we actually get more and more capabilities and integrations with common uh, cloud native technology stacks. So, for example, if you like Wiremock for developer tooling, now you can also use uh, Wiremock uh, as a GFPC extension with basically the same capability, the same API, and uh, as a Java developer, it's quite handy. And more and more tools actually uh, get uh, quite uh, integrated. And of course, for Quarkus, etc., there are existing tools like Open API, ICMP API integrations, GFPC integrations. So I think that there will be more and more integrations in the future. So thanks a lot for your presentation. And anything else you would like to share? What is uh, next in your cloud native journey? Oh, I think I will stay around about the, the, the Gateway API and see every evolution mm -hmm. because the 1.2 has been released last year and they plan to do and integrate a lot of new things. So I'm keen to see what the future will provide us. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, there are also many other domains that are super interesting, like observability, etc. So there is yeah. definitely quite a lot of things uh, to discuss between uh, those ecosystems and specifically in the cloud native ecosystem and application. Yeah. So thanks a lot uh, for talking to us and uh, yeah, thanks Thank a you. lot for sharing insights. Uh, so if you are just starting uh, with Kubernetes, etc., check out uh, the tutorials. There are quite a lot of them. Probably Gateway API won't be something you start using right away because uh, there are tools uh, that are rather designed for newcomers that might be using Gateway API and the, the foot uh, like uh, Istio does. But still, it's a really good thing to try out. So yep. thanks a lot, Kevin. And uh, yeah, let's uh, make sure that uh, we meet again and discuss more topics. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thanks all. Bye. Bye. Um,